Coming up, we take a look at the new attack simulator in Office 365 Threat Intelligence, which allows you to run realistic attacks against your environment to determine vulnerabilities with your users and determine proactive mitigation. The new attack simulator for Office 365 Threat Intelligence can be found in the Security Compliance Center under Threat Management. This takes you to our landing page for three typical cyber attack types. Collectively, we refer to these as part of a kill chain because they're never used in isolation. They are often used together to penetrate an organization. These are the campaigns inspired by the kinds of tests that our red team of penetration testers perform at Microsoft. It's a tactic deployed in our proactive assume breach approach to discover and fix vulnerabilities in our environment at Microsoft before they can be exploited. So now you can benefit from our pen test practices too. You'll see that we start with the most common, a spear phishing attack where the purpose is to steal user credentials. You can choose to run this campaign, for example, among your high-profile users, such as your CEO and the exec team. Second in the kill chain is a brute force attack, where many passwords are attempted against a limited set of users. This may be good to test the password robustness of admin accounts. Third is a password spray attack, where an outsider attempts to get into your environment by bombarding it with a single password. This helps you test for common or weak passwords in use by users that can make your environment vulnerable. So let me walk you through how Attack Simulator helps you craft an email phishing attack campaign. The subsequent user experience and campaign metrics that we generate to give you first-hand insights on specific user behaviors. Click on Launch Attack. And then this takes me through a step-by-step -step campaign creation wizard. I'll give the campaign a name. You can choose one of two pre-built templates. The tip here is that, of course, the more you adopt a style that will be meaningful to your recipients, the more successful your attack will be. I'll pick target recipients. Now, this only lets you select mailboxes in your tenant. I mentioned before, you might want to choose your high-profile users here for the campaign. A good way to pick users is to go to the Office 365 Threat Intelligence Dashboard to investigate your top targeted users and have the campaign target those users, so that through the campaign, you can understand what it is that they are doing that is potentially making them more vulnerable to attacks, placing the organization at risk. Next, I'm prompted to craft what we want recipients to receive in their inbox. You'll want to choose a meaningful display name, something that will look legitimate to your users. Again, I will use payroll update. Next, select the from field. Here, we can use an email address, either internal or external to your organization after which we will help you craft the phishing email itself. Next, I'm prompted to pick a logon server URL. We give you a few to choose from, so choose one that the best reflects the type of attack that you are looking to run. We then want to point to a campaign landing page, which will alert the user that they've been part of an attack simulation test. By default, we offer you a standard landing page. But if you have one that you typically use for security training on your intranet, you can enter this here. And then I choose the subject of my email. I'll choose a subject that seems normal and genuine to my recipients. And now I can edit the body of the email, tailoring the content with a rich HTML experience. I can bold words, underline them, change the color, or insert images. I'm going to use the HTML supplied in the template. And you can also paste in HTML code that you've created for a custom experience. In order to make the attack look as personal as possible, the username tag in our HTML code will insert the recipient's name in the email. Now we click Next. We're now ready to launch our attack, and we hit Finish. And we will now run the campaign. So now let's look at the end user experience. You can see that the email is in their inbox. It's from Payroll Update requesting they update their account details. When they click on the link, they're taken to a logon page. Notice the telltale signs here. It didn't log me in automatically, and it's not an SSL secured site. Now, with the user's credentials secured, they are redirected to our landing page that we set up earlier, either the default page or the custom one that you've provided. This makes the user aware that they were part of a phishing awareness test and failed. This also offers tips on what to avoid in the future. With the campaign launched to your users, you can look at the campaign results. You can see the total number of users targeted, where the campaign was successful by users, and detail by each recipient on what they did, 
including when they clicked on the link and how long it actually took to fish their credentials. All information that you can use to educate your users to avoid the pitfalls of real attacks. And outside of our phishing campaign, you'll see that we give you a similar campaign setup wizard for password spraying and also for brute force attacks to help you perform those attack simulations in your environment. So that was a quick overview of the new attack simulator in Office 365 Threat Intelligence. We will add more and more attack simulations over time to help you harden your security posture. If you don't have Office 365 Threat Intelligence today, it's part of Office 365 E5, and it's also offered as a standalone service. You can try it out today at the link shown. Thanks for watching.